Okay, guys, so we're going to go and we're going to paint our um, mixed up chameleon today. And we're really going to start with magic markers and just kind of try to create the look of paint. It's a fun way to actually create watercolors if you don't have them. So I'm going to start out with my sun. And I'm going to use some yellow up in my sun. I'm going to start right here with some yellow. And do the top of my sun. And then I actually add some red to the bottom of it. It's kind of like an orangey red, really, about here. And you'll see what happens when I put some water on this. And I'm going to just put a little here. And you're just going to have to, hopefully my dog won't make too much noise and that you can hear me. All right. Mix a little yellow in here. Now you'll notice that I'm not covering all my white spots and I'll show you why in a little bit. Okay. All right. I left a little white in there and now I'm going to move on to my rainbow. Okay. So I'm going to start out at the top and up here. Actually, I think I want to start at the top with a little bit of pink. Put some hot pink in here. I have different colors. These are like the crazy hot colors that Publix had. So we use what we have. Just going to do a little bit, not spreading the whole thing in like I told you before. And then I'm going to do a little bit of, I don't have any red. <laughs> Put some orange in here. We'll see what happens. That's the fun part of art. And now I'm going to do, let's see, what should I do? Um, do a little bit of yellow right here and just draw down and maybe a little bit of I have some lime green that might be pretty I'm gonna put a little bit in here on the same line just to make my colors kind of blend together you don't have to be Super neat about this. And then I'm gonna do some, I don't really know what color this is, like a greenish turquoise. But when we do rainbows, where you see a rainbow in the sky, it's kind of hard to tell where one color stops and one starts, right? Do some light blue, do a little space. Maybe I'll put some purple here. It's starting to look like a rainbow, right? Some purple. And kind of have like a dark pinky kind of purple here. So let's try that. Oh, that's pretty. That's exciting, right? When you find a new color. And we don't have to make this the way that rainbows really look, right? Because it's art, we can do what we want. So I'm actually gonna start again with that other color. Put some over here. And then I'm gonna do, maybe I'll do some orange again. Don't have to be super neat. And then I'm gonna do some pink. 
again. I might even add a little touch of yellow in here somewhere. Maybe I'll put it here just to brighten it up. Now I want to show you what happens. I've done the rainbow now. I've done the sun. Okay. Now watch what we're going to do. I'm going to take a paintbrush like this. It's about a medium size. I put a little bit of water on it. Not too, too much water. And I watch what happens when I go over my colors. They actually kind of blend together. Look at that. Rinse it off. And I'm just going to draw with my paintbrush over the other colors. And so when you use magic markers, you can actually create watercolor. Now you can't do this with Sharpie markers because Sharpie markers are not really water-based, so they don't blend together very well. I suppose you could try, but I don't know if that works. So there's my sun. Now I wonder what's gonna happen with my rainbow. I just wet my brush again, and I'm just gonna swoop over the color. And look how that blends together so pretty. So much fun, blending. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush because I don't wanna lose the different colors. I just want them to kind of blend together. And you see how when I put the water on my brush, all those white spaces that I left just kind of fill in all by themselves. So that's why I'm not that worried about it when I am coloring it in. It's pretty to watch the water blend the marker colors together. Make sure you rinse your brush. Don't forget to rinse as you're blending. Now you do not have to do yours the same way as mine. You choose your own rainbow colors. Okay, and now I'm going to maybe let that dry for a minute and then I'm gonna start working on, maybe I'll do my cactus now, okay? So with my cactus, I have several shades of green that I'm gonna use, some are bluish, some are greenish. Okay, you can do whatever you want, whatever colors you like. I'm just going to start with the darkest color down here at the bottom. Just kind of shading it. Down here. And just kind of making it a little bit round and using the darkest color in the bottom. And then I'm going to use a lighter shade of blue and come around. I'm going to put my lightest color green, this one, at the top, right up in here. And maybe I'll do a little, do a little turquoisey greenish blue. Don't know what color you'd call that. Here in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my yellow and put a little bit of yellow hair on the side, just to make it look like the sunlight's gonna hit it over here. Notice how messy I did it. I did that on purpose going to take my brush and just blend this in. Here. 
don't want to go all the way over this because I want it to look like the sun is hitting it. Rinse it off. And blend, blend in the rest of my little yellow over here. Look how pretty that looks. And I'm going to do a little bit of yellow on the top part of this cactus here. More sunlight, more sunlight here. And take my darkest color green. And color the bottom. You always color the bottom the darkest because that's where the sunlight does not hit it. Dark around the bottom. And I think I'll come here on the side a little bit darker. And a little bit of blue here. All right, I'm gonna blend that together. And I want you guys to know that my little baby bunny is running around on top of my bed right now. So if I jump up and leave you for a minute, because I have to go grab her, I don't want her to fall off. Okay, filling this in. Make sure you don't have too much water. You want to take your water, your brush. Here's my water. You want to take your brush and just go like this on the side after you put your brush in the water and get all of the extra water off your brush before you blend. Okay. Together. Okay. Look how pretty. All right. I'm gonna come on over here and do my other cactus. Same exact way. Start with my dark color blue down here at the bottom. Actually, I thought I had a darker color and I don't know what I did with it. You guys, how can Misty lose something when it's right in front of me? I don't know. Oh well. I'm gonna need that green later and I don't know where I put it. Put this a little bit down here. I guess that's when we improvise and use what we have, right? Okay. That color. I'm gonna put a little baby blue here. little bit of light green and yellow on the top. Okay, and let's blend. yellow together. So pretty. I really wish I knew where my green went though, you guys. All right. And there it is. Okay. Let's, what should we do next? I know what you're saying. You want to do the chameleon next. All right. Let's see. How can we do this chameleon? I'm going to actually go online and I'm going to see what the chameleon looks like in the story. It's very bright green. Okay. I might do mine different because 
I don't always have all the same colors. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. We, we'll start with making the bottom part a little darker. Because that's where the sunlight does not hit darker. And behind the head. <coughs> sunlight doesn't get behind the head. Maybe a little darker under the chin. Darker under the eyes. And look at the tail. I think it should probably be a little darker here. The bottom part of the tail. There's the top, here's the bottom. And in this little crease right here. Okay? And then let's look at the feet. So probably this back part of the leg will make that a little darker. And in the little crease here. Here too, little crease. Let's do it again here. Back of the leg. And I'm not going to do this front part because it's going in the opposite direction. Here and in there. Maybe in the little curve here. Back part. Back part. Okay, here and here and here. Okay, and I think I'm even gonna give them a little bit of darkness right here. All right, I think that's good. So now I'm gonna use my light green. Just gonna kind of mess, messy, messy, messy all around him. Excuse my doggy. She thinks she's my guard dog, but she's really only like six pounds. All right, here we go. Messy, messy, doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. And then since he's the fattest right here, I'm going to put a lot of yellow in there because that's where the, he'll be the lightest. Whatever you have that's very round, the center of that round object is going to be the lightest because that's where the sunlight's going to hit it. So we will do this. Color in his legs. We'll do his tail. Messy, 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 messy. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to give him or her pink tongue. All right. And maybe on the tail right here, make it a little bit darker with this baby blue as it comes in like that. Here. All right, are you guys ready to color him in with the water? Here we go. My brush. And I'm just gonna blend. Gonna need a little bit more water. Blending down his legs.
face. Now when you're blending, you want to make sure that you actually take your brush and go over your dark colors and blend them into your light colors. Just like that. So that you don't really see that line anymore. And I like to apply just a little bit more pressure with my hand pushing down on those colors, the darker colors, so that they blend into his body. Now, if you don't have watercolor paper, you don't want to press too hard because what will happen is your paper will start to fall apart. We don't want that to happen. Okay. He's looking really cool. Do his tongue. And now I'm going to do his tail. I wonder what this is going to, how this will come out. Blending. I don't want to lose that bright yellow in the back, so I'm going to rinse my brush and blend. Blending into his body. He's looking really cool, you guys. Can't wait to see what yours is going to look like. Can you guys see this little... Probably can't. Little flake. My paper's coming apart because I'm pressing too hard. Okay. It even happens to the teacher. Alright. This is really cool. Now, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to start, I think I'm going to do down here. All right, so remember this is called my foreground because it's in the front. And I want to do like a little bit of yellow down here. I wish I had a, I wish I had some brown magic markers. I don't really know why I don't. Maybe I do and I just don't know where they are with all of my art supplies everywhere. I wonder if I could make some brown. I'll put some yellow and I'm gonna mix some, I'm gonna put some orange in here and see if I can somehow make some brown. We'll see what happens. I'm doing the darker color on the bottom because sunlight hits the top, so the sunlight should be, you know, and this part is going to be a little bit shaded because it's his body is, is hiding the sun. It's causing a little shadow. So let's see what happens now. All right, let's blend this in. Let's see how it's, go oh, look, I have green on there. I didn't wash my brush, you guys. All right. Blending. Be careful that when you go up near his feet because you don't want to turn his feet orange. But if it happens, no big deal. As long as we're having fun and experimenting.
And if I'm going too fast for you, you guys can always stop the video and replay. But again, you do not have to do the exact same thing that I am doing. You can color it however you want to. Okay, so there's the bottom. And I think in my background here, I might just wanna, I like this this purple color. And since he's everything's really bright, I'm gonna like some little shadow under here and like this purpley magenta color. And where else can I put it? Here. All right. I want this background just to be maybe yellow. Because if he's a chameleon, he's gonna have to blend in, right? So that means He's gonna kind of match his, his surroundings and so that would mean that I can't really make the background a completely different color. Now in the story, part of this is black and I don't have black, so I'm not making it black. I'm just going to blend my colors in here. A little bit of magenta making here blending blended here blend 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 I like the way that these colors are kind of coming together and this magenta mixed with yellow is very pretty. I don't want to get it in my bee. Oops, look what I did. Caught it. My water started to run into my cactus and, okay. We're getting there, we're almost done. You don't have to rush when you do this. I'm going a little fast so that my phone doesn't die. <laughs> A little darker under here, a little shadow. And over here. Now that I've done this, I'm excited about doing the sky. Blending. And sometimes, look, your colors will run into each other, like to just right there, and that's fine. It actually gives it a really pretty, nice watercolor look. So you're basically like painting with watercolors. And I can kind of lift up this, some of my mistakes here. Blend them in. Make them not very noticeable. 
and blend in a little bit more here. Okay. okay. And put a little bit of shadow under him here. Okay, let's do the sky. Sky is really easy. I have turquoise and baby blue. I'm just going to be messy. Now remember, if you're doing something that's horizontal, like the picture is horizontal, it's not vertical. This is vertical and this is horizontal. So you want to color horizontally, side to side. Side to side. Just be careful not to go over your over your sun. A little bit up here. So that's my baby blue. And now I'm gonna use my turquoise. So I'm gonna come under my rainbow, the turquoise, making it a little darker underneath darker at the bottom because the closer you are to the bottom of something it's darker under my clouds darker bottom of the cloud okay bottom of the sun rays darker okay all right let's blend start here Now, I don't have to fill all of this in if I don't want to. I can have some like lines in the sky because sometimes there are lines in the sky, right? see I bled in here a little bit try to wipe that off blend it in there we go swipe it blending well that's pretty kind of looks like a little clouds right Let's blend it a little bit more such a bright picture Maybe I'm glad that I didn't have browns and blacks this time. You just want to go in between carefully with your brush. It's good to use a smaller brush instead of a big, big brush. But if that's all you have, you just do the best you can. Blending. So I'm getting rid of these hard lines here. See? next time. I'll put some music on so you guys don't have to listen to me the whole time. All right, I think I am finished. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? 
pretty cool. You could always go back in and like when this is dry, I could make the bottom of him a little bit darker if I wanted to, like I did here. If I wanted to create a little bit more shadows. Let's see. It's kind of dry. I'll try it. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to put a little bit more dark color here and see if I can make him pop. It's kind of... Do I need a little bit more here? Maybe. Yeah. Here. See how that works? Put a little bit of water on it. Now he looks like he's a little bit more 3D, right? Oh, you guys, I forgot to do, what did I forget? Who knows? I forgot the B. That's right, I forgot the B. Was that a bee or a fly? I want to eat the fly, not a bee. The bee might sting him. Okay. How's that? I should probably leave him alone before I mess him up, right? I think he's done and I think I'm going to do the fly but you know what I don't have any black hmm what should we do should we just leave him just like that or since I'm the art teacher I can do what I want I'm going to make him purple. Purple with striped wings. There he is. Okay. We're done. I'll give him a little yellow head. There he is. see he's so pretty all right who wants to see my bunny bun bun come here bun bun there she is bun bun say goodbye thanks for doing a lesson with me